evening, good evening. <laughs> Hello, enchanting Esther and starry friends, Esther Linda. What a lovely, warm welcome. Hi there, everybody. And thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I am alive now on Tuesday evening. It is the 12th of January, 2021. Lovely to have you join. So if you're coming in after this time, you're watching the replay, but you can still comment. And it'll be worth your comment because by the end of this broadcast, I'm hoping to do a giveaway. So the plan is to make a one sheet wonder, which is stamping a whole sheet of A4 paper, because I'm here in the in England, UK, in the England, UK, that doesn't make sense. And I'm hoping to chop it up to make at least three calendars. So I might not finish them all tonight, but that's the plan. Hey, you've got to have a plan. So welcome along, great to see you. Thank you for coming in and choosing my channel to watch tonight. If you're new, you can join in and chat with the live and say hello. We always are nosy and like to know where people are coming in from. So do mention where you are residing. Not any detail, you know, just a country will do. <laughs> this is great. I have eight thumbs up and I haven't, I've just spoken. Imagine, to, imagine going in life, getting just people giving you a thumbs up and you, just for talking. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do a quick hello and then I'll turn the screen around and we're going to get get on going. Okay. So, hello, Christine, snuck in nice and early. Delinda and Wendy, Cindy, Martina, Wanda, Steph, Gina, Vicky, Sheila, Gail, Pamela, Mindy, Ruth. Elena, Audrey, Jackie, Sally, Carol, Nicholas, no, you logged in as yourself and not your husband. Ah, fantastic. Welcome, Nicola. Uh, Janice, Jackie, and I think that's everybody. Great stuff. Right, let's get, let's get crafty. And Deborah. Hi, Deborah. I hope you got my email today. Um, right, so... Needed to do a live tonight. It's my usual slot at uh, Tuesday and nine o'clock here in the UK. Calendars, because I've, I've bought some of these little tab calendars and I've got still some left. So I want to make some calendars. I wanted to use some nice bright colours. I've, I've had enough of seeing green and red and autumnal colours. So I've picked out some blues, greens and purples. Why, you may be asking. Because, like my sister Ruth, I was, I bought a colour wheel and I'm trying to be good and actually use it. So I kind of did, what do they call these? Do they call it triadic, triadic colours? So I'm kind of, if you go in a triangle on the colour wheel, you get those kind of colours. So I kind of got purples to blues to orangey yellows. So that's what I've chosen for my colours tonight. And I wanted a nice stamp set that'll give me lots of coverage. So I've chosen a beautiful friendship, which is a great go-to stamp set. And oh, I snuck in at the very end the birch. I wasn't sure if I was going to use that, but it does just help to fill in some odd white spaces. Might possibly use jar of flowers, I'm not sure yet. So just come along for the ride, come along for the journey, strap yourselves in, please make sure you're wearing your seatbelts and we'll get started, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I must admit, a lot of my, um, my, uh, what's the word? One Sheet Wonders. These One Sheet Wonders have been inspired by my dear eldest sister, Ruth, who joins us tonight. And uh, I've learned a lot from her. And this is where I've seen it first. So I'm on my other phone, so I'm hoping it will cooperate. Okay, just got to do a quick measure we do. Uh, three and a quarter inches is the one that I want. Now, I'm already encroached on my desk, but let's see if we can look. Excuse me, everybody, back up, back up. Three and a quarter we want, so I'm going to score a three and a quarter, so I know roughly where my images are landing. Okay, so if you're covering a whole sheet of stamping and you're going to cut it up afterwards, sometimes it's useful to have a guideline as to where the stamps are going to go. So if you're like me and a bit dyslexic in maths, not really, but I'm just not very good at maths, I'm gonna get that score line, put my finger there and budget up to the three and a quarter. Because that's easier for me to do. So that lands on the six and a half. <laughs> 
So, and then punch it up again to the three and a quarter, and that gives me nine and three quarters. There we go. Nice and simple. Okie dokes. <laughs> Nicola says, love the way she says, Ruth's, Ruth's the older sister. My family do stuff like that, and I'm the baby, so definitely do it. <laughs> right, I'm hoping, come on now, camera, a bit of cooperation. Now, so the idea is I'm going to get three panels and I've got a strip at the bottom and I'm going to be working A4, uh, not A4, portrait mode. Now, excuse me, I know that working on a gridded pattern can sometimes make the picture a bit dodgy. So I'm going to um, just work on a scrap piece underneath. Hello, I've got May watching as well. Fabulous. OK, so learnt from Ruth. Sometimes when you're faced with a blank piece of paper like this, it's worth having a, um, a starting off with a background. What is Martina saying? Oh, yes, I'm in inches. Sorry, did you want centimetres? I do prefer the old inches, 8.2 centimetres, 16 and a half, 24.8, all right, roughly. <laughs> so when you are faced with a glaring bit of white paper, you're like, ah, it's white paper, don't fear. That was inspired, actually, by the colour pool party. Since we've had some other lovely colours to play with, it's kind of got a little bit neglected, I feel. And... Um, Anyway, for whatever reason, pool party, somebody asked to have a kit in pool party. So uh, that's why the colour came to mind. So I'm using pool party just to stamp. Now I tend to stamp, I don't know why, top left of my page. I'm just drawn to that area. And I'm just using this hydrangea stamp to create a, a background. So you've not got that stark white paper you're staring at. And just filling in a few places around. I don't want to fill up all the white space, but I do want some space covered. There we go, that will do. So that's the hydrangea stamp. If you love hydrangeas, Stampin' Up! have bought out a, a whole stamp set dedicated to hydrangeas. So that might be the one for you. Okay, next I'm going in with a rich razzleberry or Rich Razzlebury, depending on where you're from and what you say. And then this is going to be um, our focal point. So ideally, I would like to have um, a set of roses on each, at least on each piece of calendar part. So I'm making sure that I've got a rose on each one first. And then I'll go back and add some more. Oh, this bit is another piece I'm doing. Now, I thought with this tiny bit at the end here, I might make a bookmark. So I might actually stamp in the opposite direction, which might be a little bit confusing. But we'll just, we'll go with it. Um, there might be a bit of overlapping. So these colours do lighten up because they're very wet inks. They do take a little while just to dry and then you get to see the true colour. Sorry if I'm missing any comments. I've not got my other device set up in front of me. So they come and they go. I think you're talking amongst yourselves, which is absolutely fine. And I'm glad you are because it's such a nice community spirit when we do these lives because you get just to chat from people around the world. I'm going to put my hair back. <laughs> Can't have it dangling in my face when I'm working. OK, where are we? Tea time. I'm just going to take a sip of tea. Vicky says it's one of her favourite uh, flower combinations to have hydrangeas and roses together. Ah, so I'm coming in with Highland Heather. So, like I said, I want something bright and cheery, and going in with blues, purples, and greens. Now, when you stamp, you tend to have quite a lot of ink 
still on your stamp so you can stamp more than once with these stamping up inks I can get almost three impressions out of these and I'm just going to do this random one down here so once you start laying down your pattern and, and um, figuring out where things are laying then you can start working with rules so like you can see I've tucked those Highland Heather roses behind those rich raspberry roses so you just then repeat your rules and have fun with it don't be too strict on yourself but uh, have fun actually I'm going to keep on using this one now you might notice that these are quite close to each other and so you end up breaking rules and bending rules but that's okay and I am stamping oh you can't see I am stamping over the blue pool party because remember that's our background color so you know it doesn't matter because it's you're creating a bit of a background with it And it's just so enjoyable just to get out, particularly floral stamps, it works quite well, and just create your own bouquets and flower arrangements. And, you know, it's like being an artist, but it kind of happens a lot quicker. So I was going to do some speed stamping tonight, but I'm too busy talking to you at the same time, so I'm not going to do that. Now, one thing I want to try, and... One thing I've been meaning to try with this stamp set, and I haven't, but I'm not going to do it tonight, is to... Actually, shall I tell you? I might leave you hanging. <laughs> oh, Martina says, I like hydrangeas in all sorts and colours and collect them in autumn to make huge dried flowers arrange arrangements. That's, that sounds gorgeous. I love hydrangeas. They do remind me of my childhood hydrangeas. Oh, you missed what I was doing. So I tapped it partly in the uh, so saffron bottom half in so saffron top half in mango melody and I'm gonna I like to stamp these three times don't know why just do <laughs> and then you get this kind of double shading well not double shading you get shading happening you don't have double shading I don't know if there's such thing as double shading so talking of hydrangeas, I've got a beautiful uh, hydrangea plant for my birthday. Ooh. Well, it wouldn't be last year, it would be the year before now. And it was one that I'd chosen that I wanted. And it's a green hydrangea. The flowers are green, but it has these lovely pink tints on the edges. So, um, yes. Yeah, and this year it's really like gone from a tiny stick plant to being like a bit more of a proper hydrangea plant. <laughs> so it's quite exciting. Okay. Um, thinking I'd like some on this side too, but I'm just going to go in with the so saffron and maybe just do a couple. I have got other things I want to put on my arrangements. So I'm not going to just wanted to balance it out with a bit of yellow on that side like I said because this is a nice full stamp you can afford to kind of just fill out a big space in it quite fairly quickly I mean you could spend ages doing these if you really wanted to so while we're sticking with our yellow tones I'm gonna I like using this one which is supposed to kind of fit in the center of the flowers but I like to use it as a separate entity and as a, a little flower all by itself. So I'm going to just add a pop of like a little pom-pom type flower here. Like so. Little pom-poms. And again, stamping three times because I've got a nice bit of yellow on my my uh, stamp that's the word okay 
So now that I don't normally fill these in, but now that I've said it and know they're there, I am going to fill it in. Oh, we use the linen tether. So I've got to be a bit naughty and just stamp that off like that and then come in with the Highland tether. I've got a funny grey colour going on now because I've not cleaned my stamp properly. <laughs> Do a bit of quick stamping in the middle there. Fill it in, nothing too precise. There we go. Right. Okay, so what's next? I'm I'm putting my used pile of stamps in front of me, and then the ones I'm yet to use are to the side, so I know which ones I haven't used yet. Um, let's have a think. Well, I did chuck in Pretty Peacock last minute, actually. He is a little bit of a gate crasher, but I, th I have an idea. <laughs> so next up, some foliage, some leaves. And I think I left the other leaf still on the stump, so let's have a look. So there's two leaves in this. You've got that lovely three-pronged leaf, and then you've got this double leaf here. So we might use both because we can. Now these stamps start off white virtually and they are clear, but over time with putting on purples and pink ink, they do stain, but it does not affect the quality of the stamps whatsoever. And sometimes you find that the, um, oh, hello. It doesn't stick to your block as much, but um, what, all you need to do is wipe it on the back of it to take off any dust. I hope that's not a phone call on my device. I'm just going to have to ignore that minute. So coming in with a Just Jade. This is a lovely accompaniment to the pool party. Because look, when I get stamping off, it's almost the same colour. I should have used that one for that. Oh, well, change of plan. I've started, so I'll finish. And this is going to act as a filler. I'm just seeing what gaps I've got and I'm going to just try and fill them up a bit. Yeah, definitely should have used the three one, never mind. Sometimes your hand goes to something and it just, before you know it, it's too late. So I'm just going to carry on with that. So that green really just helps to to lift it I think. Let's bring in this one so it doesn't feel too lonely. I think this is, don't tell the others, but I think this is one of my favourite, favourite ones. Now because I've put those creases in early I can see where I'm overlapping which is quite useful because I do want to cover the edges because they are going to be um, overlapping eventually when I do my design. when I cut them, sorry. Sometimes I get my words muddled. <laughs> you may notice. Oh, do you know what? I'm so talking to myself that I haven't even looked at the comments. I'm so sorry. Um, Christine says she dries them and sprays them too. Oh, you've been the hydrangeas. I thought you were talking about stamps. The stamping colours match my nails. <laughs> so I've got Blackberry Bliss, almost like a Merry Merlot colour and Bumblebee today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally catching up with your comments. You're all talking about hydrangeas. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I've not missed anything. I've missed like loads of questions being asked or anything. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, but I'm in my element right here. Um, we done, we done. Oops, there we go. Let's just disguise that. Right. So I have got some white blotches, but that is totally fine because I have plans. And I have two colours left, Seaside Spray and Pretty Peacock. Now, I'm tempted to do a little bit of um, stenciling. But let's start with Seaside Spray. Okay, another great tip, again from the, 
the great sister of mine. <laughs> I have two sisters, so I've got to be careful what I say. Okay, so with these big ones, you can use them on a massive block or you can just kind of bend it, bend it over and use it. So you're a bit more in a bit more in a bit more uh, in a bit more control. Why do I want to stick the word of in there? In a bit of I don't know. The word off doesn't fit in that sentence. Anyhow, <laughs> we're just tapping it in our ink to get some, get the stamp nice and inky. And now I'm going to, and I want it to go vertically. So I'm going to just dab it and press it in the gaps. Can you see that? Okay. And this kind of creates a, I don't know, just a kind of a different look really. And again, just roll it on and you can, I can push my index finger to where I want the stamp to go. So I feel a lot more, you could put a few fingers in there like that. And then you can just use that to dab or to roll. And this creates a, like an extra layer onto your, onto your work. So if you've got any boo-boos, good time to just stamp over them okay I think I like it like this so I might start stopping <laughs> start to stop so I'm I know this is um in portraits so it's a little bit more tricky maybe to see than it would be in landscape right let's talk um stencils and stuff like somewhere on my desk on my very messy desk okay plan b i have got some this gold oh this might be nice I was going to use this leafy one, but I think I'm going to use that gold diamondy one. So these come in sheets of gold foil and they could be used as a background to your paper. They are white on the other side, so you can colour them in if you like. But for today's purposes, I'm going to use them as a stencil. And I think by just adding a bit of Pretty Peacock, I'm just seeing if I can find a, use that one. So uh, Stampin' Up! have come up with their own blending brushes, but these are some I've had before, so I'm just going to use what's in my toolkit, as it were. I'm going to dab this into the Pretty Peacock and then just rub off some excess, because I don't want it to be too dark. Just going to go in with some areas. Okay, I want it to be a little bit darker than that. Whoa. That's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that about my own work. but Well, it's not, you know, stamping up do the hard work for you. They design the... They do the designing and the colours and everything, and we just use them. Just add even more dimension. So I like using the foil side because it means I can clean it off and use it with another colour a bit more easily. Now, these aren't actually stencils, so they have got, um, what's the word? Uh, not a long life. Not not something longevity what do I want to say they haven't got a long life basically so you just got to go gently with them treat them nicely treat them well oh I think I moved that a little bit so uh, Shirley's saying looking vintage chic, yes. I think this stamp set lends itself to that vintage vibe. I'm trying not to cover up my, my birch bit of stamping, but that kind of added yet another layer. 
a lot of the time we think these things look like um, tablecloths or like um, curtains. Makes the roses pop, doesn't it? Yeah. Can't resist a bit of stenciling. Hi, Joanna. You love the colours. Cool. I'm glad. I was very tempted to add some pinks and some oranges, but I thought, no, I'm going to try and stick to a, a bit of a rule and, uh, and not do it. So, like I said, I'm hoping that these will turn into three calendars. Oops, I moved <laughs> by the time I chop this up. So it's not going to look like this whole sheet. Good evening, by the way. <laughs> That's OK. Um, what else was I going to say? So to be in with a chance of winning a calendar, I need you to comment after the video is finished. So once this video is finished and been uploaded, um, you need to leave a comment um, I should get you to answer a question, and I know you've watched the video. Um, I know what. So your question that you have to answer after the video to be in with a chance of winning is you've got to mention one of the colours that I've used, or your favourite colour I've used out of the selection I've used today. Does that make sense? Yes, it does in my head. So... <laughs> To be in with a chance of winning, and this is my own competition, it's got no affiliate to anybody else, um, one of these calendars, you need to mention one of these colours that I've used today, but your favourite one out of lot. Not now, afterwards. Okay, so now that I've done my measuring, I'm actually going to chop, chop my score lines. I'm going to turn them over so I can actually see... Actually, no, let me turn him back again because of where I've scored. So I said three and a quarter, didn't I? Just about to see the score line. So I'm going to cut it. <gasps> I've got to take a photo. <laughs> oh, well. Could somebody just screenshot that for me, please? I think you've got to swipe to get rid of the comments. Should I just see if I can find my device? No. Around here somewhere. And I could take a photo myself. Mm, what have I done with it? Was it charging? Nope. What have I done with it? Anyway, if somebody could do that, that'd be great. I'm sure loads of you would have done it by now. Oh no, my light's gone. This is where it all goes to pot. <laughs> done a screenshot. Thank you. Right, great, let's put my light back on. Okay, so I cut it down to three and a quarter. The first slice of loveliness. Oh, I don't know. It's always a bit scary when they get cut. If you're a bit scared to cut them, turn it over so you don't have to see. That way nobody gets hurt. You, you don't see who whose rose has been chopped off. <laughs> and this can turn into a lovely bookmark because it's about two inches, I think. So this is a bit of a sneak peek because I'm running a class this month with the succulents stamp set. The class is now closed because I've, I've sorted out my order. But we are going to be making a desktop calendars with them. So let me just show you what that looks like chopped up. Yeah, the first cut is the deepest. OK, so that's what they look like cut up. And now I'm going to bring on some cord. Oh, I might bring on Pretty Peacock, actually. I've got out all the other colours, but Pretty Peacock was a bit of a late cut. Oh, that's Pretty Peacock. Um, it's one of my fave colours, I think. Okay. Let's just have it. Oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? Love it on Pretty Peacock. Actually, you know what you do need to do? Rather than saying, actually, cut, stop press. <laughs> you probably Because I'm going to have these probably on different colours. You might need to say what colour calendar you'd like if you won. Anyway, let me get on. So, to cut this down, A4, long side and trimmer, cut. Right, Martina, are you there? You'll like me for this. <laughs> okay, I've got too much stuff on my desk. I need to move. Okay, 29 centimetres, so we're putting it in long ways. 
Oh, Tepri didn't get my email. Oh, that's strange. I'll try and have a look at it afterwards, Tepra. Okay, 29 centimetres, which is 11, you're going to hate me if you do inches, 11 and 7 sixteenths, according to my ruler. Okay, 29 centimetres or 11 and 7 sixteenths. It's because I'm using A4 paper, it's a little bit different. Now we are going to score. Again, I'm going to do... Now, the inches for that is a bit of a mare, really. I'll show you that in case anybody wants to screenshot or copy along with the measurements. Okay, I'll try and talk you through it. So, we've cut it off at 29 centimetres. Now I'm going to score at 10 centimetres. which is three and five sixteenths, three and five sixteenths. Then at 20 centimetres, nice and easy. So 10 centimetres, 20 centimetres, which is seven and five sixteenths. Then at 23.9 which is just before the 24 or 8 and 7 sixteenths <laughs> oh you're loving me right now <laughs> and 27 27.85678 okay centimeters or 10 and 15 sixteenths. i was going to show you that again in case you have A4 and you want to copy along. So that's the basis. So what, I mean, we'll see how we get on with time, but um, okay. Now the other thing I need to do is do a little matte layer for my calendar. So because this is a desktop calendar, I don't know whether to, I don't know, well, maybe you can give me some suggestions because with my succulents one, I've got the succulents on the side. So I think I cut this down at... Two and a quarter inches, sorry, it's inches. Let's just lob that off. Two and a quarter inches by three and a... Three and a, three and a quarter. Two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. Let's just check that's right. And in centimetres, you're looking at 8.2 centimetres by 5.7. But that's just, you know, just do a mat and layer basically for your calendar, all right? <laughs> Life gets too complicated. <laughs> all righty, right. Um, dum -dum -dum -dum. I'm looking for there you are okay now we want to fold and burnish our score lines so fold and basically crease um, oh, no. come on no cooperate camera my brain goes on overheat with the 16th I know I know that's why I was trying to help you out with centimeters but for those that do inches, they have to do a sixteenth because the centimetres and the inches just don't match up nice and neatly. But if you want a nice desktop calendar like I'm making and showing you, oh, I should tell you what I'm doing. So my, my poor head can't get around valley and mountains and all that business. So the big one we're folding in from the left. Then... You're folding the next crease in, back and in. Once you know how this kind of goes together, you can work it out really easily. There you go, like that. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. So you've got like a, a W shape happening in there. And that's going to stand up to make your desktop calendar. And then we can bring back our stamping. Oh no, I've cut it wrong. Oh, botherations, I forgot. I forgot to cut off the 
Oh, that's all right. I've just forgotten to cut off the end bit. <laughs> I did that earlier as well. I'm so annoyed with myself, honestly. Okay, let's let's carry on because that's what we do in these situations. Okay, <laughs> I'll sort that out in a second. So I'm going to use my double-sided tear and tape because it's nice and strong and flexible. And we're going to just get sticking one together so you can see the finished product. It is only card, but I just that's what annoys me about measuring. I think I've done it all right, and then something last minute just goes wrong. But you know what? It's about how you get out of the pit hole. It's about how you fix it. Okay, so that glues to that. So you've got a nice desktop calendar. Ta-da! Right, so we're not panicked. We're going to fix this. So I cut that at what? I think I need to cut it down to... I didn't do my mat and layer size, did I? Just bear with me, please, Caller, while I fix my... I think I need to cut it down to eight inches. I think that's where we're going with this. Let's have a look. Maybe a bit more. Seven and three quarters, I think. Oh, sorry, right, seven and three quarters, which would be, I don't know. <laughs> right, let's, let's have a look. Let's cut one down and I'll tell you. So I'm cutting off the end where I'm not going to miss a lot of the flowers. So seven and three quarters. Let's hold your breath. I hope this is right. I've only gone and cut it. Yay, that'll do. So you've got quite a thick border. If you want a bigger border, you have to work that one out yourself. I think I could do with coming in maybe a little touch. I'm going to leave it. So we want to cut it down at 19.7 centimetres. So either because we've got the pretty pattern on there, I don't know if we need all the other anything else on it. What, what do you think? So the calendar... You want it to sit sit where you can just take that out to layer off. Because you kind of want to see the pretty paper. Do we want to have any more floral accessories? Or do you think it's fine as is? Let me know. And I'm just going to get this stuck to this. So a great tip is if you just glue a little bit, can actually recycle your calendar and use it another year rip this off at the end of the year and put another calendar on if you so wish if you not fed up with staring at it for 12 months oh you guys are saying it's fine as it is a bow would be an idea yeah uh, let's have a look so we've got a little bit of oh i've got some just jade ribbon might look pretty could jazz it up a little ribbon bow at the end i think Nice idea, nice idea. Who else do we could introduce a bit of bumblebee? Because he's quite close. Let's go for a bit of just jade for this one. And my calendar can go there. Okay, let's see if anyone else. Everyone says just um, as is. And a bit of bling. Right, okay. I hear you people, I hear you. Before you stuck it down, you could have. Oh well, let's just let's just do. We're here to enjoy, relax, take your mind off things. We're not here to stress. We're here to relax, unwind. I'm here to fix the mistakes I'm making. I haven't got Razzleberry ribbon. <laughs> Wendy says Wink Costella. Of course you say Wink Costella, Wendy. You've discovered you're now uh, an official Wink Costella addict. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shirley. Okay. So I'd like to tie my ribbon. I'm going to. Oh, where is that gone now? You're always there, now you're not there. <laughs> 
my silicone mat has gone walkabouts. Okay, I'm going to do, now I normally say bows for girls, not for boys, but today, because I like the look of it, I'm going to do just like a really simple knot from there like that. And you guys want a bit of bling, so I hear you. I think the great thing about doing calendars is, you know, you can have it. Do you know what this needs? Sorry, I interrupted my own train of thought then. <laughs> it needs a bit more of a border, so. Oh, look, I've got gold sparkly. What do we think? Now, this isn't available from dumping up anymore but a bit of gold sparkle would just ouch just stuck my finger it didn't hurt you know when you say ouch because it doesn't hurt it's more the shock of it <laughs> oh dear right let's see oh look the width is just the same that way typical never mind so because I'm cutting through glitter paper I'm going to turn him over do I have to measure this okay if you insist. So this one was seven and three quarters. I'll make it eight inches. That is 23 centimeters. By three and a half inches. which is 8.9. So, oh, I said not to cut the glitter side, didn't I? Do what I say, not as I do. That was a case of. Now, because, hello, got all this nice glitter paper in the middle that nobody's going to be able to see. We're not wasting it, I'm sorry. But, you know, whole new project lying there underneath that card. I just roughly cut that out like so. So look, I saved you all that, people. Okay. So thank you so much for spending your evening, morning or afternoon with me, wherever you're coming in from. It's great to have your company, but now I'd love to have your subscription. So please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload videos. I do lives every week. And, um, oh, I didn't even check that this fitted, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. Now, you want your seam <laughs> to be at the back. We don't want that one showing, so we're going to turn him over. And because I've done something right tonight, that fits <laughs> nicely. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I feel like you're a bit miles away. Let's just bring you down a little bit. And then this beauty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Who wouldn't want a calendar like that in their house all year round? And this, my friends, piece of original artwork, never to be re stamped again. That's the beauty of stamping. Once you've done it, Although you might try and copy, this is unique to now. And you can be in, the, in with a chance of winning it. All you need to do is say, actually I will stick to my original plan. Say which colour was your favourite out of the colours I used. And I will recap it later. What are we thinking? Oh, I can't see comments again. <laughs> Um, your mat took off with my glue dots <laughs> yeah probably they're going in hiding and canoodling in a corner do you reckon <laughs> oh yes embossing I didn't think about that right thank you thank you thank you I'm thinking you know this needs like because it's all about the calendar whether to pop up the calendar a little bit because it's all about the calendar okay and then remind me to add a bit of bling so somewhere in here I've got a nice thick bit of 
whatchamacallit. Now that's been quite generous. I'm sorry, I'm not that generous. I'm going to cut some strips of this. Oh, I'm using the wrong scissors. I like to keep those for ribbon. So they're nice and sharp, super sharp. All the Stampin' Up! scissors are sharp because the blade, fun fact, is sharp from tip to toe. <laughs> so um, here we go. I'm just going to lay this across the back. Yeah, the blade is sharp from one end to the, to the other, to other. And I know even left-handed people can use these. I, I made the silly mistake of saying to my friend, you know, they're left and right-handed scissors. She said, you can't get left and right-handed scissors. Scissors, There's no such thing. I said, oh, okay. I said, but you can use them. <laughs> and she happened to be left-handed. Ta-da! I'm loving the gold bling. Can you imagine this on your, in your home? On a lovely mantelpiece. Can you picture it? I'll Shirley you off. Bye Shirley if you're going. Sorry I didn't see you go. Right, if you want to stick around, how am I doing? 46 minutes. If you want to stick around, I might make some more. Uh, yeah, the scissors are super sharp. Be careful of your fingers. And so are the blades in the, in the, uh, in the uh, what do you call it? Bye, Pam. Sorry if people are going and I'm missing you. Okay, so shall we do a rich raspberry version? Let's have a look. I know a lot of people like like um, purples. I'll try and work a little bit more speedy this time. Just a little bit. So, at least this measurement's right. So I need to trim that one down a little bit, don't I? What did I say it was? Seven. Is it seven? I can't see. Seven three quarters. How much would you sell them for at a fair? Oh, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I'm terrible with things like that. I don't know. I kind of, I guess, and I just do it. I don't, I'm not very good at properly adding it all up. A bit naughty like that, me. I just think sometimes you can't put a price on things, if you know what I mean, that by the time you add it all up, it's going to cost way more than, you know, anyone would pay for it, so. <laughs> okay, let's try my measurements again. I'm not going to go through them again. I'm just going to quickly score it because if you want to see the measurements, you can catch that up from earlier. Thank you. Yeah, they do make lovely gifts. That's why I thought I'd do it as a giveaway. So we're folding both of those large ones in. Short one back and then forwards. And then that glues to that like so. Okay. Are we thinking a bit more gold? Might as well, we've got it to use. All I've got to do is just give it a trim. Thank you everybody for your lovely comments. Don't forget to comment after the video has finished. Once this has been uploaded, come back and let me know what your thoughts are on the calendars and let me know your favourite colour out of the ones that I've used tonight for your chance to win one of these. So I'm probably going to manage to make three in total. So I'll be able to give three away, which is quite exciting. And I'll even post it. It might be a bit bumpy to post, but um, I'm feeling generous. What can I say? <laughs> So I'll even post it out to you if you're in a different country. 
but you've got to be in it to win it as they say um, and I'll leave it open and I'll, I'll draw it but I'll draw it before the end of January or else uh... you're going to need time to actually use your calendar aren't you so So if you can't shop with me, other ways of supporting me, you can give me a free thumbs up and um, you can comment because it helps my video get seen. Um, and if you are feeling generous, you can support me through PayPal and you can do super chats. So some of them are free <laughs> ways of doing it, other ways. You have to pay out. See, that looks quite nice in the middle. But I might do what we did before. Oh, I forgot to put the... Oh, no, I've not stuck it down. <laughs> I gave myself a little mini panic then. <laughs> so, um, okay, I don't have any... I've got this purple posy ribbon here that you can colour in. So, somewhere I've got... Oh. I've got an avalanche, apart from the avalanche. Could colour in some ribbon. What's Martina saying? <laughs> Three thumbs, I only have two, she says. I'm just using this alcohol marker colour in this ribbon, turn it purple. Oh, I didn't think about gold ribbon, but never mind, too late. So hopefully that should be enough. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Thanks so much. You're such a, a darling with your kind donations. Appreciate that, Vicky. So Vicky's just demonstrating how you can super chat. <laughs> so because that's um, I'm using alcohol markers and dried really quickly on the ribbon. Does make it slight your ribbon slightly crunchy as well but that's okay I'm talking to you I know you can't hear me my husband is giving me a hard time about talking to myself oh type it Jan I understand well I say I understand typing what's Ruth saying <laughs> missing all the it's really weird when you I'm so used to being on the other side commenting and laughing with you a lot and now I'm here not reading all the comments <laughs> thank you Christine yes I was meant to um email you but I've had a uh can get around to doing it basically <laughs> I could give you lots of excuses, but I'll just say that I didn't get around to sending a reply to say, oh no, I know what it was, because it was a different email address, I think, as well, which was an added complication, but anyway, much appreciated. So, although, yes, I am covering up some stamping, I just want to get that balance of the purple. Ruth had a vision. What was her vision? <laughs> was it a good vision? Was it... They haven't got glitter everywhere or gold flakes everywhere, but visions of that going everywhere. Oh, <laughs> of, a, of a beautiful calendar on her new mantelpiece. Look, this has got stuck. Oh, it's, Martina, I'm terrible. I talk. When I'm on my lives, I talk and talk and talk and say things. People, by the time people respond, I forget what I've just said. So I, I lose myself in my own conversation. 
So it's no good doing lives because people respond to what I say and I'm I'm the one left trying to catch up. So I'm just sticking to this now. This is, I'm just going to suggest an easy way of doing it, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just sticking to myself. There we go. Stick to one end first. That's my suggestion. There you go. <laughs> I got there in the end. Oh, dear. Well, you can all be in with a chance of winning. It's got to be fair and square. I don't think I'll bother about popping it up. Oh, no, I haven't already. I was going to say, it doesn't need dimensionals on there. So, what colour should we make our last one? I wonder whether to go yellow. Or, I don't know. What colour should the last calendar be? Oh, look, it does look a little bit like my nails. <laughs> sometimes I think, like I think I said this before, like sometimes you think you're thinking subconsciously when actually you're not. Like you've obviously seen that colour somewhere or something. Oh, Just Jade. Now, the issue with Just Jade is I don't have any sheets left. I've just ordered some. But that would have been a good idea. I have to choose another colour. I was quite proud of myself. Although I saw somebody giving these measurements, I think I made—I actually made this up to fit our U European sizes. Reek doesn't have a mantelpiece, but always find a spot for something pretty. Ah, Cindy's working with Misty Moonlight. Yeah, possibly Bumblebee or Highland Heather. We'll do a little audition, shall we? So there we go. Look, that's on Rich Raspberry. I'm liking the peacock one. Did I say I was going to give these away? <laughs> Just joking. We got a couple of votes for Highland Heather. I do have Highland Heather next to me. So let's have a look. I know you lot like your purples, don't you? Where's that last sheet gone though? That I've stamped. Uh oh. Here you are. You're right next to me. Yes, that would look pretty. Nice and subtle. Okay, we'll go for that. Um, you have my permission to go if you want to. <laughs> I'm just going to make up the last one while I'm here. But if you, by all means, stick around and chat. Now, Highland Heather. Just seeing if I've got any. I haven't got any Highland Heather, Heather ribbon. Or Smoky Slate. That would look pretty as well. I'm going to use Highland Heather just because I've got it out on my floor. <laughs> literally <laughs> and it's a colour that I used so welcome Liz um I'm just I still need to look at the measurements because I don't want to get them wrong so 10 20 23.9 Oh, pardon me, 27.8. It's a bit difficult when you're live and you need to burp. You can't kind of excuse it, can you? <laughs> Sorry, a bit of overshare going on there. Okay, uh oh, don't have. Let's see, we could use silver. Oh, let's have a look. Whoa, silver's toppling out on me. Oh, typical, it's not long enough. That's okay, because we have one whole sheet. Oh, look everybody. Throwing this into the mix. What did I say? It was I'm not very good at remembering the measurements, am I? Three and a half. Somebody remember that for me. Three and a half by eight. 
I'm knitting a three and a half by eight. I think what I'll do for the draw is I'll pick the names out, but just I'll choose the calendar, then pick the name. Does that make sense? Because if everybody chooses the same one, we're not going to have much fun, are we? So three and a half by eight. I hope that was right. Yeah, I do like the silver, but I like silver with certain colours. So I like silver and lilac, but I don't know if I would have liked it with the rich razzleberry. And I love the gold and peacock, but I don't know if I would have liked the silver with it. So... Now, will this fit a calendar? I've lost my calendars now, here they are. They're getting buried in my pile. <laughs> they just love it when a plan comes together. I love it when it fits. So that is, didn't this to do? It's three and a quarter, I think it was. Three and a quarter. Yes, navy and silver, yes. Okay, so that's that one. So I need to think about a ribbon. I might have to colour some more ribbon in. Got to be careful when you're taking these off because you end up unstitching them, which is not the plan. And do I need to trim this as well? Yeah. remember the measurements I'm just going to do that and I hope that that was right oh we can use the bundle bee that looked pretty okay wait we are getting there folks a little bit of glue Let's do the ribbon first. So these products I'm using tonight are all from the company called Stampin' Up and I'm a demonstrator for the company. So, which means you can purchase these products through my online shop. And they've just come out with a new catalogue in the new year. So if you are in the UK, France, Austria, Germany or the Netherlands, you can order from me. And I can send you a catalogue out for free. So let me know if you're interested. And I'll be running a couple of video workshops over the next couple of months. Um... Next month will be overall occasions set and March is the straw sweet strawberries bundle. Oh no, not again. <laughs> that double sided tape, honestly, it's not getting into trouble. Okay. Reet says, where can I find those calendars? These ones I got from eBay. And if you type in mini calendars or tab, T-A-B calendars, they're quite inexpensive and usually you can buy them in whatever number you would like. But if you get completely stuck looking for them, let me know because I might have a few left over read and I might be able to post them to you. He 
You're welcome. So nice to have Nicola with us tonight. And anyone else that's watching who's new to my channel, warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. It's been a bit long, slightly longer than usual, but hopefully worth it because by the end of it, there's a giveaway. So just got to leave me a comment. I'll go through the colours at the very end so that you can comment and let me know which one was your favourite colour that I used. And if you leave a comment, you will automatically be added into the prize draw. So I'll put your names into a random selector and do it that way. So I'm a little bit... I've got my borders different sizes there, but do you know what? It's handmade after all. And especially by me. <laughs> That's when you know. <laughs> when something is slightly wonky. <laughs> okay. There we go, there we go. The other th great thing about cutting out from the middle of glitter paper is you've got more chance of it actually sticking. Ah, oh, Mary Jo, thank you. What's cooking for dinner? Thank you, Christine. 10 for £2.50 on eBay. Do you know what I haven't done is put any bling on it. You guys wanted some bling. See what we've got quickly. I've got two pretty pink up things left on there. I've got some bling or I've got some of these pretties. Oh, I've got some just J's. Let's just do this real quick. Oh, chicken tacos. Let's use some of these just jade. They obviously get neglected. Can you tell? I've gone through one of these already. This is my second packet. Just a little bit of of something something I know it's not bling but I don't know if you need it I'm gonna stick with these nice little just jade gems just to add a tiny touch you could add wink of Stella on it as well if you wanted to I've done that one. I do like this pretty peacock one. There. Oh, what a marathon. Okay, tiny bit of wink. Just in between. There, just a touch. That's not bad. Three calendars in an hour. Thereabouts. Yeah, you can colour some pearls. I'm beginning to flag, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. And I've gone over an hour, so I don't think people want to be watching too much more. So thank you so so much. So we stamped this background sheet ourselves, <laughs> being the royal we. And um we came up with these three, I think, lovely desktop calendars. So they fold flat for posting as well, which is great. And let me show you the colours. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning, you have to comment after this video. Please don't comment now because it'll just be wasted. It won't be wasted, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and you need to pick the favourite colour, that I've, your favourite colour that I've used tonight 
from the colours that I've used for your chance to win. Now, if I can't get hold of you um, after a week after the draw finishes, then I will have to redraw, I'm afraid. So please bear that in mind. Um, I need to please look out for the draw uh, video. Um, because if I can't get hold of the person, then it will be sent to somebody else. So, uh, Rich Razzleberry, which was the deep purple. Highland Heather, which was the lilac colour. Mango Melody. So Saffron. Just a Jade. Seaside Spray. And Pool Party. Okay. So I'm happy to post it abroad, but you need to be in it to win it. Leave me a comment after the video goes live. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to turn the camera around to wish you all a good night. So what was meant to be a fairly quick uh, <laughs> one sheet wonder. There you go. It happens like that. So tonight's earrings are sponsored by a friend of mine who does crochet on Instagram. I think she's called creative crochet i should have looked that up before i came on so if you're interested in those you can check her out on instagram thank you very much everybody good to have you with me live and loads of people on tonight which is fantastic it's great to see you don't forget look 45 thumbs up out of 46 i'm honored thank you so much um i will bid you good night take care and hopefully i'll see you next week same time same place all being well and god willing lots of love to you all god bless mm -hmm. two dolls a good night wendy delinda thank you deborah and wanda thank you so much everybody take care of yourselves thank you audrey good to see you good night. suddenly all rolled by <laughs> bye martina joanna vicky jackie mary joe thanks so much everybody Lovely to see you. Nighty night.